These days, all movies have a long and complicated path to the multiplex, but chaos walking is an old-fashioned kind of disaster where it's just been delayed and delayed and delayed because apparently it's not good. This movie was filmed in 2017. Then it had reshoots, and it still hasn't been released. It looks like Lionsgate's finally going to pull the trigger on it. Uh, I mean, how bad can a movie made by Doug Lyman starring Daisy Ridley and Tom Holland really be? Well, this trailer must not be great. Uh, sorry I'm a little late reacting to it. Uh, the Wonder Woman news last night, exciting, uh, threw off my whole schedule. But um, I didn't trend this morning. I'm really surprised. Where are you, Where are you, Tom Holland stands? You guys are usually really good at that. Uh, so the other thing that frustrates me about this movie before we watch the trailer is that it's basically Why the Last Man, but flipped, where it's a world of all men and no women. And none of you better say that sounds like a paradise. <laughs> but anyway, Why the Last Man is one of the best comic books ever written. FX has been trying to turn it into a TV series for also a ridiculously long time now for same good old-fashioned reasons that it's not good. They've recast the role of York Brown twice now, or they've had two actors now uh, to play it. And actually, I have to tell you, I think Tom Holland would have made a fantastic York Brown. Of course, he's too big for television right now, although maybe not, especially if he has, you know, outside of, if he doesn't have any hits outside of Spider-Man. Maybe he would do a series. So, but now he's already doing this. Reverse Why the Last Man. Daisy Ridley's the last woman. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. Again, such talent involved. You have, a, it's hard to imagine it could truly be that bad. Let's take, let's see what the Lionsgate executives, let's see what's been haunting their dream, their nightmares. Like we paid so much money for this cast and actor and the budget and special effects. Mads Mikkelsen, how did this not turn out? The Hollywood execs are shy about releases. That's why she's still alive. We're lucky to be alive. That's a nice fur coat, man. Whoa, whoa, stop! Don't come any closer. Mm -hmm. It's a girl. Girl, girl. Oh my gosh, girl. I'm sorry. No Louise. blonde hair. I've just never, never seen a girl before. Who are you? Embarrassing. She can read his thoughts. It's so loud here. We call it the noise. Happened to all the men on this planet. Every thought in our heads. Oh. We're on display. That's an interesting idea. Where are all the women? Nobody think anything. Dead. <laughs> no noise. Oh, what is she thinking? Where the hell is her noise? It's strange to see everything you're thinking. You know, it's strange for me too, not knowing what's going on in your head. I mean, I don't know, you might not like my dog or you want to hit me over the head with a rock or something. What is in his inner... I like your dog. What is his inner voice have an accent? Those. You better watch your noise. What? Snake. Snake. What is that guy's noise? If those men catch you, they'll kill you. Get in the car! If you want to protect the girls, you have to leave now. Why does only he have noise? Keep you safe. Keep you safe. Some people, not everyone seems to have noise. With her power, there's no telling what he can do. I need that girl before she wants him. I How like... many are coming? A hundred. Two hundred. Thousands. What was that thing? Be quiet. I'm trying, I'm trying. Come on, fight. 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 The dog is cute. How do we not get a better shot of the dog with all the talking of the dog? Uh, it seems like there's a little too much going on. This seems like the kind of thing that would do really well, like in a, uh, a novel, but it's hard, to, just maybe too complex to adapt to a visual, you know, linear story especially one that's you know a movie maybe just doesn't have the running time you know it doesn't have again maybe this should have been a series it doesn't seem to have the capacity to to interpret this correctly uh i think the noise idea is actually kind of interesting i don't think they seem to be utilizing it particularly well i think there are some funny jokes to be made about how guys feel they never know what women are thinking i got a news flash for you we don't know what you're thinking either you're just as mysterious and weird to us so 
Uh, I think that would be funny. But, you know, I mean, it's an amazing cast. I think Doug Lyman talked them all into being into this movie. Um, but, I, I mean, I don't know why they would sit on it for so long. I, don't, I mean, it's either, I mean, they're like, it's, it, they're trying, they're like, it's like the white whale of Lionsgate. They're like, we can fix this. I mean, let, we'll see if they did. But, I mean, the fact that, again, it didn't trend with this cast is, to me, quite shocking. So, and also, I don't know why he has that crazy southern accent. I don't know, you know, if he's, maybe he was like, I got to practice for the devil all the time, which has already been released at this point. So I don't know. I'd like Daisy Ridley's, uh, you know, blonde uh, hair, haircut. She does look very nice. It's a, it's a different look for her, so she's not just playing Ray. So I think that's great. But I mean, I don't know. I think the trailer doesn't do a good enough job setting up the, the, the situation. Or maybe it does, and this is all they have. So I would just say this looks like Looks like the type of movie that these two actors, Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley, would have probably made it their careers in 2017. But it's 2020, 2020. And, you know, this movie seems beneath them at this point. It just seems like another Divergent or Hunger Games or something like that. And I think that, you know, just like Tom and Daisy have moved beyond this type of film, I think that audiences might have as well. It's even a little Alita, but this shows that Alita Battle Angel, but Alita Battle Angel had excellent world building. Alita Battle Angel's only real fault was that it, to the, the, the error that so many movies make these days really being all about setting up a second movie instead of focusing on the one that they were making. So, I don't know. So, I'm super, I don't know. Again, such talented um, people working on this. What do you think? Also reminds me of little Love and Monsters, which just came out with Dylan O'Brien, who's very similar in terms of his vibe to uh, Tom Holland. I know some of that upsets some of you, but in Hollywood, that's what they do. Everybody goes into categories. So if you can't get the one actor that you want for your project, you go to somebody else in that group. So you'll, uh, actors often find themselves competing with the, other, the same group of actors for every role. And you know, you see who gets it. So I mean, that's really the way it works. And you hear stories of actors talking about that, always seeing the same people in the audition room until they get to the point where they're a huge star. And then you know, they're attached to projects like very early on. And, and that's like a whole nother level. But you know, there's there's types. That's how Hollywood works. So if you can't get Tom Holland, you get Dylan O'Brien. That's how that's the, that's the Hollywood casting game. And you know, in short. All right, share your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching with me. Subscribe today, and of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.